switching gears to the Generation Xers, this is the smallest generation of the four. And as a result, we know there will not be enough Gen Xers to backfill the traditionalists and baby boomers positions. We are definitely going to have to rely on both this generation and the Gen Yers to step up as our baby boomers enter into retirement. This generation came of age when the U.S. was in a losing environment. The economy was in a slump, Vietnam and Watergate happened, and we saw the domination of the Japanese from an industry standpoint. As a result, the Generation Xers can be cynical and pessimistic about a number of things. Whether it is a basic business decision, discussing political leaders, and most definitely the economy. This generation strives to be self-reliant and they really value control. Not that they are not able to work well with others, but they definitely like a sense of autonomy when it comes to work and definitely prefer not to be micromanaged. This generation lived through a great deal of technological changes during their early years, to say the very least. As a result, they are typically very technologically savvy and very open to adapting to technology. This generation saw some of the first computer labs built in their schools. They witnessed the evolution of Microsoft and the conversion from DOS-based business systems to a Windows environment. This was also one of the first generations to not really see tenure as a way to the next level within an organization. They definitely have a higher level of respect for production intensity as well as knowledge and skill sets over tenure. As a result, generational Xers may have a difficult time understanding why certain individuals may be in a role versus another, particularly within organizations of a larger size that have always promoted and moved people up the ladder from within due to a combination of tenure and performance. One important trend that researchers and employers alike began to notice about this generation is that they don't really remain loyal to organizations. I recall that it was predicted when I was in college that our graduating class would change employers at least seven times during our careers. We'll talk more about this generation, but it definitely brings about the question or challenge as to how your organization can continue to meet their needs and the needs of your business. The experiences that define Generation Xers are women's liberation, terrorist acts, energy crisis, nuclear disasters, the Challenger disaster, the fall of the Berlin Wall, Operation Desert Storm, and MTV. As we reflect on the list of defining experiences, there are not heroes named. Gen Xers really do not have that commonality to share across their generation. If their generation did have any type of heroes, they were typically in the form of sports heroes, for example, Michael Jordan or Larry Bird maybe. Now on to our final generation, Generation Y.